All right, it's April 9th. We're gonna get back into some robot ratings, and here we have a rebuild. Um, looks looks decent. I think. Kind of see what they're they're going at right now. But one thing I do notice on a lot of people's bots now is that they're using just regular L channels, right? Regular one by ones, instead of the the three wide, which is cut down. So I think. That if you were to do this, you would want to use a three-wide that's cut down. And honestly, like how much weight are you really saving with this this piece, especially this piece that's holding the, the lady brown, right? The structure. Because you still had to do the the these, right? You still had to do the gearbox, right? So why not just just do a C channel and have the gearbox everything inside the 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 chassis right the structure i feel like that'd be a lot more um efficient effective with like kind of your your weight versus your structure structure rigidness and also like this just doesn't seem that strong especially being it, like offset it a little bit right because imagine imagine these screws aren't like fully screwed in or like imagine like they get loose or you don't have these properly squared right and this piece and this piece goes in opposite directions and then or this one goes in the opposite directions and then now your thing is bent so also your wire management i mean it's not that bad i mean I, at least it's all like together in one piece right and cut your sh cut your your shafts your low strain shafts i feel like this is a little bit exposed but it might be probably okay in my experience i haven't found so much a lot of success with the 5.5 watt front layer uh especially while having a 5.5 lady brown right you can totally run a 5.5 lady brown but i feel like it's just better to have a have an 11 watt lady brown and just 11 watt intake because you can totally run a full 11 watt intake overall looks okay i'm gonna give it a, a c tier next one sixth grade team wow okay I, I definitely sixth grade team this is very impressive there's not really much i'm i see is like done wrong here to be honest Honestly, for a sixth grade team, I'm giving this an S tier. Rebuild for world's progress. Okay. It looks looks decent. Yeah, like I said with the the critique for the pre, one of the previous robots, you might as well just do this, right? And then you can mount all your gears and stuff onto here. You don't need to... I mean, you, you do want weight savings to a certain extent, but you don't want to overdo it where like it kind of just kills your structure rigidness, right? This one looks, once again, looks nice. I'm going to give this one a B tier. Undefeated day one. I wonder how the rest of the tournament went. Nice. Fumbled. Okay. So, <laughs> this is a programming skills run. Okay, they missed that, that one ring, but it looks, the movements look pretty, pretty smooth. All right, these curves look nice. And he has this doinker out. Trying to sweep that corner? Yeah, there you go. I think you put your doinker out a little too early, but... I mean, I don't know your robot that well, so... Maybe maybe that, that's how you're supposed to do it on your bot. Everyone's robot's different. And he has his doinker out the whole time as well here, right? I'm, that might be like pushing some of these rings away. I don't know. Maybe it's not a problem. I, I doubt it's a problem with how they're able to just... You'll keep that blanker down the whole time. Not bad. Looks looks decent. I'm gonna give it a B tier. My honest reaction to Lady Brown spam. Yeah, I like how this is a it's a catabot. I'm giving this catabot an A tier. December January robot. Okay. Looks looks like a <laughs> like another Lady Brown. I feel like you don't definitely don't need two air tanks, and they both have two air tanks. I yeah, I definitely don't think you need those. Plus, I think this is their hang. I would highly advise you box your hang. You see that? It's not boxed. Box your hang with uh with spacers in between, right? So get a longer screw, put it through the C channel. I'm sure you know how to box stuff. And yeah, I'm giving this one a B tier. Day three. Third day. Looks nice, looks nice. I'm gonna give this one a B tier as well. We're almost done. World's about almost done. Then I gotta add another cross brace. Then do some fourteen-year-old weight savings. All right, take a look. 
<laughs> I feel like I feel like this looks pretty nice. It's just that oh yeah, one thing is these traction wheels do get dirty really quickly. So if I were anybody using traction wheels, I would advise wiping them if you can, right? Get those don't use alcohol wipes because that makes the the wheels less less grippy. You want to use baby wipes to kind of just get rid of that like that dust that build up on the wheels and your robot's gonna be moving so much faster. It's just some some tech we figured out. I like the high strain shaft here, I think. No, it's a standoff. I can't really tell. It looks good standoff because you have you have the shaft collar, so but you have the high strain shaft. No, it's not even a standoff, it's just a screw. Okay. Yeah, because you just have spacers. Cause first thing is I thought this was a high strength shaft because they looked like because you had a shaft collar on it. So I was like, oh high strength shaft with shaft collar plus the the multiple spacer or high strength spacers, but it's just regular spacers with a screw. Okay. It looks nice. Unless it's a standoff. Unless I'm completely wrong, but hopefully I'm not. I wonder what this piece is for. I think it's maybe just for keeping the rings from flying out. I'm not too sure. This piece is interesting. All right. Moving on. Oh yeah, here's some tech. So if you have these extra prong, like if you're wondering why some teams have these extra like little nubs at the back of their, like towards the inside of their back clamp, these are for tilting the goal with a lot less like PSI, right? So, cause the goal is because you you don't like you want to grab on the center of the goal but also you want to start your grab on the side and kind of move your way to the center if that makes sense because if you start on the side then you have a lot more leverage a lot more mechanical advantage to tilt that goal and then the and then this can hold it in place right so that's nice i'm giving this one an a tier nearly there still a few remind refinements to go okay cut your cut your shafts here i mean you know what? Unless you're doing a poly a poly piece over it, then I'd cut it by one. If you're not doing a poly piece over it, I'd cut it by two. If you are, cut it by one. But yeah, there is some there's some tech though with the with the the poly pieces. You might you you don't need it. You can just run it run it raw, and then you'd be fine still. So, anyways, looking up, this looks decent. I you know what. The, I people would say this is not clean because they have like this extra piece in it, but I totally understand why. Is because whenever this is running, the torsion that gets put into these shafts will kind of twist them and kind of like pull them away, right? And they would skip. So this is totally fair. But I do think that you can do this same thing with zip ties right around these two shafts, or you can just have this floating between these two shafts because you're not trying to keep. I mean, I guess you can try to keep this one from moving around, but, but it'd be better if you put this one, if you like extend it more so it enclosed both, or you just have it in between these two instead of having it here. But this is still totally does the job. I'm, sh I'm sure it does the job completely. So that's nice. Cut your shafts here, here, uh, and and yeah, it looks looks okay. However, I do think that your Lady Brown might not score that well since you have it so far back right because usually you try to move it as far forward as possible and and as high as possible right so you have the easiest scoring so i'm gonna give this one a c tier not the best geometry i think need tips okay 600 rpm 6 motor drive 400 rpm tower 5.5 intake 5.5 lady brown all right i mean overall i think at a glance it looks looks solid don't see your motors connected but i'm guessing guessing the robot is made to work so it looks like it probably works i feel like you want some some mesh in here i don't think you want to just run this raw <laughs> mesh or like rubber bands or something so you can actually test it overall i mean the main things i'd say is probably just oh yeah put uh put a poly piece here and rem remember to cut a hole for your chain to slide through right so have it like go like this and then so with a funnel but then remember to cut a hole for the for the chain but yeah i think this looks decent i'm gonna give this one a b tier hey flint and steel shenanigans we did not make it to worlds that's unfortunate but let's see what they got for us Ooh, is that a catapult okay i was like <laughs> it's a that's some fast scoring 
That's crazy fast scoring. Maybe that's the new meta for wall stakes. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. Well, I'm going to give you guys an S tier. Good luck next year. All right. Thanks for watching.